quick video today on Facebook marketing, specifically posting photos to Facebook. Now, when most CrossFitters, most affiliate owners post a, a good photo to Facebook, they think good photo means, you know, triple extension, good movement, good technique, that kind of stuff. But we've got to think about it from the point of view of the person who's actually looking, the person sitting on their couch scrolling through Facebook. What do they think is good? What's going to draw their attention? What's going to show what CrossFit really is, right? Now, they know we do movements. They know we do deadlifts and rope climbs and, and muscle ups. That might be the reason that they've never stepped foot through the door, right? What we need to show them is all the other stuff. We need to show them the friendship, the camaraderie, the community, right? We need to show them the moments, not the movements. So I want to take a look at some examples uh, where Anfit CrossFit Gold Coast, where we are right now, where Vakey has done a really, really good job of showing movements instead of movements. So let's take a look at this first post. It's a bunch of ladies hanging around mid-workout, having some fun, sh you know, showing that they're friends, showing that there's a bit of community involved. Uh, the photo itself has faces in it. We know that faces are gonna draw attention more uh, on Facebook. People are drawn to faces. Everybody's smiling. Again, that's gonna draw more attention. Uh, and really important, the photo is, uh, is zoomed in enough that it's gonna look good on a small screen. That's a really important thing to notice. If you've got this big wide shot of the whole box, it's probably not gonna look great on the screen. You've gotta get in there, uh, you've gotta do more portrait stuff. Now let's look at the post, right? Things to quit doing. One, trying to please everyone. Two, fearing change. Three, living in the bars. Four, putting yourself down. Five, overthinking. Now that has nothing to do with CrossFit. And that's okay, right? It draws the attention, right? It makes people read, like they've, they've looked at the photo, that's drawn their attention, and then they've read that, and it's something a little bit fun that, that everyone can agree with, right? You've got their attention, you've shown that we're not all psychopaths that rub their face in the gravel for breakfast. We're just people, we're happy, smiling people, right? Now, really important, I want you to check this bit out next. There's a call to action, but it doesn't feel slimy, right? Uh, come train with like-minded people, book a free intro here, right? Come train with like-minded people, that's a nice soft call to action, right? It still tells them, we want you to come in, but you're not saying, try free class today, you know, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's not sleazy, it's very conversational. Last thing I wanna look at on this post is how easy it is to take the next step, right? There's no point in having a call to action if you've got your email address there or your phone number or something that they can't click on that they then have to go write down, then jump back. And it's too many moving parts. With a call to action, especially a call to action like this that's gone through Bitly, that's now a shortened link so it's not big and scary, um, all they have to do is just click on that and immediately they're on the landing page. That's the way to do a Facebook post. Let's take a look at one more example. Now in this one, the guy is doing a movement, right? He's doing a pull up, but you're still catching a moment, right? Because of the photo, because of the subject, because of the way that's edited, there's, there's a moment there, right? There's an emotion there. It's something that's gonna draw people's attention. Imagine if you just zoomed out from that and had a whole body shot. How different would that look on the screen? It's not gonna draw anyone's face. So again, notice that there's emotion in the photo. Again, notice that it's nice and zoomed in so that it's gonna look good on a, uh, on a small screen. And then look at the text again. It's, it's not boring, it's not, we do pull-ups to increase power. No, it says success isn't overnight. It's when every day you get a little better than the day before. It all adds up. Start your CrossFit journey by booking in for our free intro session. That's brilliant, right? Again, it's a little bit touchy-feely, but that, that's what social media is, right? The photo's gonna draw people's attention, the text is gonna get them hooked, and then the call to action, again, it's very conversational, right? It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel you know, forced. It's uh, start your CrossFit journey by booking in for our free intro session here. And then one more time, there's the bit.ly link, which makes it super easy for them to one click, they're on the landing page, they can get involved. So that is my main theory around choosing good photos for Facebook. Choose moments, not movements. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you guys got any great photos or great posts that you want me to take a look at, please link them down below. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.